In this video, I will show how to divide radicals using a process called rationalizing the denominator. Note that it says rationalizing the denominator means we are going to actually multiply by a form of 1, which allows us to change the denominator into a rational number. So basically what that means is we don't want any square roots left in the bottom of our division, of our quotient. So let's take a look right here. Right here I have square root 3 in the bottom. So ideally I want to get the square root out of the bottom of my fraction. So the form of 1 that I'm going to multiply top and bottom by is the square root of 3 over the square root of 3 because essentially this is just equal to 1. So I can multiply anything by 1 and it's really not changing the expression. This allows me to rewrite it. So if I multiply the top, I get the square root of 30. If I multiply the bottom, I get the square root of 9. Now, of course, I know the square root of 9 is a perfect square. So I'm going to leave the top as the square root of 30 because there is nothing that can go into 30, which is a perfect square. So it's in simplified form. And the square root of 9, I know, is 3. So see how there's no longer a radical left in the bottom of my quotient. Now let's look at another example. I always check to see if the two radicals can be divided by one another. 15 and 6, that will give me a decimal. So I don't want to use decimals when I'm using uh, dividing radicals. So in this question, I am going to take the same approach. But it's going to take a little bit longer to do, just because we'll get a radical at the end, which we'll need to simplify. So I look at the root in the bottom, and that's the form of 1 that I'm going to multiply by. So I'll proceed to multiply. Think of this as being a 1 right here, so I get negative 4 square root 90. And I'm dividing by root 6 times root 6, which is the square root of 36. Now, we know the square root of 36 is a perfect square number. I also need to rewrite the 90. So I'm going to use 9 times 10. And I know that the square root of 36 is 6, so I'm just going to rewrite that as a 6. In the top, it's very important that I use brackets when I'm rewriting this as a mixed radical. So the square root of 9 I know is 3. I'm going to replace this with 3 root 10. And in the bottom, I get the number 6. Now, we can even go a step further, because right here, we can multiply these. So this becomes negative 12 root 10 and it's divided by 6. I always check to see if my coefficients can be divided by one another. So right here, negative 12 can be divided by 6. So this results in negative 2 square root 10, which is the answer now for my original quotient.